talk about each light and why I'm using each light. And what I've done with the beauty dish is I put a diffuser over the top of it. Perfect. Good. Rock that head even more. Just give it lots of power. Good. So what I'm doing and using now in this image is a grid light. I'm going to flip it and show it to you kind of what it looks like. Because from my angle, it's insane. So I'm gonna spin it around here, and whoa, people. Next, what we're gonna do is talk about the ring flash, okay, and how that works for glamour and beauty and these high fashion model shots. So it's gonna be really hard, contrasting. These are gonna be black and white, it's great guy shots, great guy chair. Um, so what I want you to do is just sit on the edge of that chair and just kind of lean in on your elbow, okay? Just kind of give it some, yeah, 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 cool, cool shot. Okay. You know, you can actually get it too close and then you get these dark looks underneath her eyes. You can actually go too far away and you lose some of the quality of the light by doing that. It becomes a little flat, a little boring. So we're going to find that in, in the middle ground of that, a little bit closer, making sure you got that catch on the top part of her eye. Boom, perfect. Still get beautiful, hard lighting on her and beautiful lighting, but both eyes will be lit that way. So if she turns too far the other direction, it'll be more like split lighting. It'll only get light in one eye, and I'm not going for that dramatic of a look. I basically shut everything off so I can see where the light's coming from, and, you know, and what it looks like on his face and everything. And I like this lighting pattern that's happening right now. Very, very beautiful with her, especially great jawline, great cheekbones. Um, it'll really accentuate all of that with this really strong dramatic light. And now it's perfectly right around the pupil of her eye. That's the position that you want it in. Okay, and I always tell myself like this, if your eyes start to bleed, go ahead and close them because this light is really bright. All right, because it is. I want them to be unaware, not self-conscious of what's going on and really let their guard down so that I can capture who they really are. So I want to talk to you a little bit about, you know, when I'm looking for you, you know, when I'm taking images, you know, and let you know what I'm planning on creating for you, okay? So first of all, okay, no girly crap, okay? <laughs> so the biggest thing in your mind is, that, is this. I want you to think about beauty, um, glamour, power, strength. I mean, put all those concepts in your mind, you know? You'll feel the image, you know? And, and when you feel that it's beautiful and powerful, it will project to the camera the same way. The point is, is the experience. The point is, is creating um, art and letting things happen and evolve. And they, they evolve through being positive and encouraging. Nice job. Yeah. Okay, so again, she's moving, I'm moving up, down, close-ups, three-quarter links, keep things going, keep things moving. And again, the stage is set, everything is perfect, right? And what are we gonna do? We're gonna breathe, relax, um, really see the images. Awesome job, okay? And that's really what I'm looking for. So we're gonna kind of mix it up a little bit and have all these fun little cute little headshots like that. They're super sweet. So with the red lipstick and the dramatic makeup, again, just simple lighting. Simplicity sometimes done really well. You know, great lighting, great posing, excellent makeup, excellent clothing, all that kind of stuff. You put all those things together and you get that really high fashion, cool look. And you don't need all that stuff in the images. You can just do the simplicity. As you can tell, uh, we're digging it, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now let's do that on point if you can. Same thing. Beautiful. Breathe. Beautiful. Look away. Awesome. And of course, you can look at it. Uh, yeah. I would do that and would die. I really hope this is going to give you the best comprehensive understanding on how you can make your photography really dramatic, more fashion, more model, and add that excitement that seniors are really looking for in their portraits.